Right, here we have <coughs> a prototype that I've made up uh, as the the rail I used before was a temporary job and it just wasn't strong enough and it would bend after a couple of uses. I'm going to show you how to take the worm gears off and the flywheel off and how to put the them back on again because there is a procedure and if you don't get it right you'll end up knocking the internal uh, washer that actually holds the motor in the correct place off. So what we need to do first is place it in there like so. Now I'm using uh, a Rolson T6 as it is exactly the right size and much better than the nail to knock the shaft out. So we place that on there like so. We get our hammer and I found it best to use the side and you tap down and off comes the flywheel off the motor. Now the other end you will need to take the motor apart you take the motor apart because if you don't that little washer there that is the guide washer so the motor doesn't go up and down with too much play will move up the shaft so what you do you place it in there like so put your dowel in there like so and knock the rotor out like so. So now you end up with that. Now to put them back on again to get it so you don't end up moving that you first place that onto there like so Place that onto there, so there's no movement onto there, like so, and hold the rotor. You then, with the side of your hammer, just gently knock that on, making sure that you get the right gap. Now the right gap is about one millimeter between the two. You then place your motor back in, making sure that you get the guide tab there in line with that. Push it back together. You then place the motor that way round into template you place your flywheel on the top and on it is all you have to do then is press these tabs back in like so now there's no play in that you then get your controller if you wish and there we have one working motor There we go. I actually use this as a test motor, so deliberately, if it broke, it broke. If it didn't, it didn't. But just to show you again, you take, depending whether it's the worm gear or the flywheel, you take the motor housing end which is the solid end off first 
like so. It's obviously become a bit easier now because I've had these on and off so many times. You then, with a very small flat screwdriver, just lift these up. Like so. You pull the hole with the shaft, the hole out. Like so. You then place that into there. Put your drive tool in, hold the motor. And out it comes. The reason you have to do that end like so, like that, is because as I say, this here has to stay in the place and if you don't do it in that way you will knock that up the shaft and you'll end up with too much play in the motor now this worm gear and this flywheel if you want to go to a five pole using both you'll need a pendolino five pole motor if you're happy to just use the motor you can pick up a King or any motor that is that size there are quite a few of them out there and basically using your bracket that came off it will fit straight back onto there because that's exactly the same that's exactly the same worm gear that came off no difference whatsoever and that will fit straight in to your cock of the north tornado duke of gloucester um and the new scotsman apparently and that's all there is to it um i am thinking of making these plates um and putting them on at cost on ebay um just to help everyone out really because there isn't anything out there that will actually do this I've got most of the extractors that are on the market and all of them this here which is the piece that goes in between is too big on everything I've tried to use and I've got several extractors and they're all exactly the same they will not fit um, I hope this helps and hopefully it will bring back any um, locomotives that have got non-working motors in and you can also upgrade to a five pole um, any questions just leave a note below and uh, I'll uh, endeavour to answer them for you thank you